Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Today is all about pink. I wanted to share my entire pink collection. This video was a suggestion from Zane Delbina. Thank you so much for the suggestion, and also thank you guys for voting for it on Instagram. I will be talking about handbags, small leather goods, accessories, you name it. So I hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get started, shall we? I know, I know, I should have worn a pink shirt, right? But surprisingly, I don't have a whole lot of pink in my wardrobe. And I have to admit, I have forgotten some of the names of these pinks. If I can remember them, I will put them on the description box below. I also wanted to give you guys a little bit of information on each without getting too crazy. I don't want this video to be a million years long. So let's begin with small leather goods. All right. And these are in no particular order. The first one is the Hermes Calvi. This is in the Epsom leather in the color Bougainvillea. I absolutely love this color and I'm a huge fan of the Calvi. I think that this is such a great card holder because you do have two compartments that are very generous. So you can go from pretty much a full size wallet into this. I know some people aren't too fond of it because you do have to um, fold your bills a couple of times in order to fit them in here. Uh, that doesn't bother me, but I do think that uh, this is a wonderful card holder. And even though it seems like it's pretty thin, this leather has held up insanely well. I haven't had any issues with uh, tears or with uh, staining or color transfer or anything like that. So I absolutely love the Hermes Calvi. Next up is the Gucci Marmont card holder in the color Wild Rose with the silver hardware. This is a little bit newer to my collection and I am crazy about this color. Even though it's a pastel, it's not too, too light. Uh, it does have a little bit more of a richness to it, which I think is wonderful. And as I had mentioned in a previous video, I do have some wear along the top of the card holder here as well as here and a partial pop stitch along the side right there. But uh, so far with as much as I've used it, I haven't had any issues with uh, color transfer uh, or any major, major uh, wear marks like scratches on uh, this part. But again, I do have wear along the, the top corners, not so much on the bottom, which has been awesome. So the Gucci Marmont card holder in, uh, in Wild Rose. Next is the Chanel Ozip coin purse. This is in the boy version with the fuchsia caviar leather and the champagne gold hardware. And as many of you guys know, this is one of my all time favorite compact wallets. It's small that I can fit it inside of my smallest handbag without a problem. And of course it fits like a glove inside of my larger handbags. But I also like the fact that you do have the three compartments and I do find them to be very generous. So you can go from a full size wallet into this. Again, a lot of people aren't too fond of it because you do have to fold your bills a couple of times, but that doesn't bother me. I also like the fact that these compartments go all the way down. So if you do end up using one of these for, uh, for your coins, you don't have to worry that it's going to slip under and go into another compartment, which I think is very nice. Uh, but I absolutely love this color. It is so insanely bright. Uh, the way that you guys are seeing it on camera is exactly how it is in real life. Uh, I will have to admit that, um, there are different versions of the Ozip coin purse, but the fact that this one does have the plastic zipper, I think um, I think is a major bummer, especially for the price point of this of this item. Although I will have to admit, I haven't had any issues with uh, any of the teeth either breaking or popping off or anything like that. It has been wearing fabulously, and I've also used this uh, quite a bit. But still, I think that it's a major bummer when uh, when you have any type of plastic on uh, on something like this because you never know. What if it's a wallet that you end up using daily uh, that yeah, has the potential that it might end up uh, wearing a little bit funky as time goes by or what have you. Uh, but I just want to point that out. You know, I just I want to try to give as much information as possible. They have made other Ozip coin purses that don't have the plastic zipper that in my opinion um, would be uh, a lot better. Uh, now, I don't remember the exact name of the color, but I thought I would give you guys the series. It is a 23, it's from the 23 series. So I also wanted to share that. Next up, one of my all time favorite items, the Louis Vuitton clay in the rose ballerine and the Empreinte rose ballerine. I think that this color is so, so beautiful. This is a lot lighter than the wild rose uh, card holder from, uh, from Gucci. No, issues with color transfer either, no melting. And uh, I do like to use this as a wallet. Sometimes I find that the chain that's in here uh, can get a little bit, um, it can get a little bit fussy, 
But other than that, I'm not going to take it off like I did with the others. I'm just going to leave it exactly the way that it is because it definitely is one of my favorite small leather goods. Next up is the Gucci leather card case. This is in the Fuchsia with the gold hardware. This is an awesome, awesome compact wallet. I think that for the quality that you're getting and the price point that this has, I think it's amazing. Not only that, it has a whole lot of uh, card slots as well. You have two up here, two down here. You also have a zippered compartment, a side pocket here, a slip pocket, a slip pocket there, and you also have this for your bill. So if you're not fond, of other card holders where you have to fold your bills a million times. Uh, this is perfect because it allows you to leave them uh, just the way that they are. And I also like using this little zip, not for coins. I actually like to use it with my key fob and my key fob fits in there nicely. If you do have a very long key fob, it might be a little bit tricky, but I think this is great for grab and go. You have all of your essentials, all of your necessities, and you're out the door and good to go. Uh, this one also has been wearing fabulously. No issues at all with, uh, with the leather, no pop stitches, nothing at all, um, no color transfer. I am just, I am so happy with the way that this leather has been wearing, um, and I think it is absolutely beautiful. I do believe that this was a seasonal color, if I'm not mistaken. I think that the staple colors that they have are red, beige, black, and I think that's I think that's it. I could be wrong, so don't quote me on it. But the Gucci leather card case, highly, highly recommend uh, recommend this as a compact wallet. Uh, next is the Chanel Beauty CC pouch. Mini O pouch, mini O case, I have no idea. Let's just give this a name. I'm just gonna call it Beauty CC pouch from now on because I, I hate that I always get like tongue tied with the name. Uh, but uh, this is in the caviar, the pink caviar with the champagne gold hardware. This is from the series, give me a second. Where's the series? Oh, oh they're here, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I thought I was all prepared, no. <laughs> Okay, this is from the 26 series, and uh, I think that these are awesome. No issues with uh, color transfer, no issues with wear, pop stitches, or anything like that. I love using these as um, usually as wallets, uh, but I do tend to use them as catch-alls as well, uh, just because I think that they're perfect for those wallets. Uh, you have so much space, and it's still pretty slender, so it doesn't take up too much space inside of your smaller handbags if you wanted to use it that way. Uh, and I really like some of the details, like the CC at the very top of the of the zipper, I think is a nice touch. So the Beauty CC pouch uh, in the pink caviar leather with the champagne gold hardware. I also have another Beauty CC pouch. This is in the Chevron matte caviar leather with a champagne gold hardware. Uh, this one, I also haven't had any issues with color transfer, no pop stitches or anything like that. And I will be honest, uh, I thought that at first when I got this, I thought that this might end up... Um, I thought that this might get dirty very quickly just because of the matte caviar leather that it has. Uh, but as I had mentioned, no issues whatsoever. And usually with these, uh, you might end up seeing, or with as soft as this material is, you might end up seeing the wear on the corners here, but uh, so far so good. And I also use this uh, quite often. Uh, but I do like the chevron. You know, I like, I love quilted when it comes to, to Chanel because it's classic. But I do have a major, major appreciation for the Chevron too. Uh, but once again, there we go, the Beauty CC pouch. And then on the interior, it just has um, this, type of, uh, this type of material. I have used it for a cosmetics case. I don't necessarily recommend it like that all the time, only because if you do end up getting, like if the, if the, lipstick, op if the lipstick opens up or what have you, you might end up getting a stain on the interior and it might be a little bit harder to, to take that out. So I just wanna throw that out there uh, as well. Oh, and before I forget, the series of the matte one is, uh, what does that say? 27 series. I feel like I'm gonna start to do the, what does that say? <laughs> but it's the 27 series pink, <laughs> the Chevron pink. Next is the Chanel. I do believe that they have since changed the name, but it used to be the small zip wallet. I do believe that now it is the medium zip wallet, but this is in the pink caviar leather with the silver hardware. And uh, this pink is probably one of my all time favorites just because it is so incredibly bright and it has a little bit more of a blue undertone that I feel that really makes it, uh, really makes it pop. Not only that, 
I love the pebbles that this has because this to me reminds me of the pebble, the caviar that they use for their classic handbags or their classic pieces. Usually I've noticed that with their seasonal pieces, the caviar tends to change from year to year, from season to season. And uh, a lot of the newer ones, the caviar seems to be almost shiny. It seems to be a little bit closer together. Whereas this one just reminds me once more of the older, uh, of the older caviar leather. And I don't think that it makes it dull. If anything, I think that it ends up enhancing its beauty. Uh, maybe that's just me, but uh, let me show you guys the uh, the interior. You do have a total of four credit card slots and one middle compartment. Is it focusing? There we go. And uh, I will admit that since they revamped it, this is the older style and it's not as, you can't open it as much as the newer ones, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, I will also have to say that this little tag here, this uh, zipper pull, sometimes gets caught when you're trying to zip it up, which can be a little bit fussy, so I also wanted to throw that out there just in case. But as far as the series, this is the 20 series, the 20 series pink. It also has like crazy, crazy pilling along the top part here where you see the fabric. I don't know if it's gonna be able to capture it on camera or not, but it's <laughs> it's pretty intense. Uh, I also have some slight color transfer on the corners. Uh, not too, too bad, um, but it is, an older, uh, it is an older item and I have used it quite a bit. There we go. And I also like the fact that you have a little bit of pink in between uh, the silver hardware there. So the 20 series, uh, pink in the uh, small zip or the medium zip wallet. Now this last item, I didn't know if I should include it into the pink collection. It does have a pink tint to it, but it tends to be a little bit more on the metallic side. Anyways, I decided to include it. Uh, but the last small leather good is another Chanel medium or small zip wallet. This is in the Chevron rose gold caviar leather with a silver hardware. I absolutely love this color and I like the fact that depending upon how you hold it, it ends up changing color. It has a little bit of green, a little bit of uh, gold, blue, and then of course that pale uh, that pale pink uh, but I remember I was super super nervous to go for a metallic piece only because I had metallic pieces in the past and they just don't end up wearing uh, the best and I remember talking to the sales associate and he had mentioned that uh, Chanel had revamped how they end up doing uh, metallic pieces so that way they end up wearing a lot better and uh, he was so right I haven't had any issues. I mean, I haven't had any problems whatsoever with uh, the uh, with the metallic sheen wearing off or creasing, or I haven't had any issues with pop stitches or color transfer either, or pilling. Uh, this item has pretty much stayed in the same condition uh, of when I got it. Of course, I haven't used it as much as some of the other wallets that I have had that uh, I've showed you guys, but I've still uh, I still use it quite a bit, especially when I first got it. Now let me show you guys the interior very quickly. Uh, you have a total of uh, four credit card slots, just like the pink one, two here, two there, and then a uh, zipper compartment. And as far as the series, this is a 24 series. So 24 series, um, series <laughs> rose gold. Uh, now as far as this wallet in general, I forgot to mention this with a pink one. Um, I do think it's great, although it is, it is very limiting because you do have four credit card slots, you can double them up, but I find that when you end up putting a little bit more in this middle compartment, or even if you end up using these open compartments, if you end up trying to fit uh, an entire wallet in here, let's say you have anywhere from, I don't know, 18 to 20 different cards, including insurance, driver's license, what have you, uh, it tends to get very bulky. Uh, but kind of like what I mentioned with the pink one, uh, the new ones are a little bit more generous, so that's great. Uh, so it doesn't seem to get as bulky as quick, uh, as bulky as the older ones do, because if I was to put these side by side, uh, you can definitely end up seeing the difference. So you have a lot more play with the uh, with the new ones. So I also wanted to throw that out there just in case. Uh, but I do think it's a fun wallet. It just doesn't, it's a little deceiving because you, you might think that you'd be able to fit the entire contents of a full, full size wallet. And I don't find it to be that way, at least for myself, you guys might've experienced something different, but I still love it nonetheless. So the Chanel, um, the Chanel small or medium zip wallet with the Chevron uh, rose gold caviar leather and the silver hardware. Moving on to handbags. The first is the Gucci Petite Marmont wallet on chain in the fuchsia with the gold hardware. This is the exact same color as the leather card case that I shared with you a little bit ago, but I am such a big fan of this wallet on chain. Not only do I love the simplicity, this leather has worn fabulously, absolutely zero issues, no problems with color transfer either. Uh, usually you might end up seeing it back here or on the corners. And as you can see, uh, it pretty much looks uh, exactly 
exactly the same. But another reason why I'm so fond of this wallet on chain is because not only does it have a built-in mirror, which I think is awesome. That way, uh, if you don't want to carry your compact, you don't have to, you have that there. But it also comes with a removable strap. And this chain strap is so incredibly comfortable. It doesn't dig into your skin. It's a little bit more lightweight, but not to the point where it seems to be flimsy or anything like that. But uh, as far as the interior of this wallet on chain, you do have the six credit card slots, one slip pocket, one open compartment, one zip compartment, and then you also have another slip pocket here. And uh, I just, I think that it is wonderful. I honestly think that it's a little bit more spacious than some of the other wallet on chains on the market right now. Uh, and for the quality of leather that you're getting and the price point that this has, I think is amazing. So if you if you're unsure about going for a wallet on chain, or if you uh, if you want to go for a pop of color or a smaller handbag, I highly recommend going for something like this. And again, the simplicity I feel ends up speaking volumes. So I think that this is a wonderful, wonderful wallet on chain. But uh, the Gucci Marmont Petite, the Gucci Petite Marmont wallet on chain in the fuchsia with the uh, gold hardware. This is exactly what happens whenever I do collection videos. I feel like I get so tongue tied and. <laughs> what I'm trying to say. Moving on to the Barbie bag and that is the Chanel rectangular mini and the pink lambskin with the silver hardware. I absolutely love this color. Is it a little bit obnoxious? Maybe, but I'm okay with that. I know some people have referred to this as the Pepto-Bismol pink and I didn't think so in the beginning, but the more and more that I look at it, yeah, it definitely tends to lean towards the Pepto-Bismol side, but I'm okay with that as well. Uh, but the lambskin has worn fabulously. No issues with color transfer, no issues with scratches. Usually with mini bags you end up seeing the the wear here on the corners and then my neighbor <laughs> my neighbor is cutting his grass. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not but it's a little distracting. <laughs> uh, anyways you end up seeing the wear on the corners or you might end up seeing the color transfer here. Now one of the questions that I get asked the most is how I end up incorporating a pink bag into my wardrobe. And usually when I end up carrying this bag, I have a denim on and a white top. And that way this is the pop of color. And as I mentioned previously, I haven't had any issues with color transfer. Uh, but let me show you guys the interior. So on the inside, you do have one slip pocket, one zipper compartment, and then an open compartment here. This is a 20 set, the 27 series lambskin. Yeah, 27 series. And I know that it might look like it's a little too small, but I think that these bags, they're very deceiving because I think that you can end up carrying all of your daily essentials. Of course, you have to go a little bit more compact, but um, that doesn't bother me because I think that, again, you can get away with carrying all your daily essentials in a smaller bag. It doesn't end up digging into your skin, whether you go to use it crossbody or on your shoulder. So I think that's great. Uh, but I absolutely love the, uh, the pink mini, the Barbie bag. And I have thought, I have thought, I still kind of go back and forth and I chicken out. I have thought about having this one be blanged out by Urban Blank. Can you imagine how amazing it would look with uh, the Aurora Borealis Roski Crystals? It would look so, so beautiful. But every time I'm like, okay, I'm going to do it, <laughs> I chicken out and I think, no, what, what if this, what if that? I don't know. Uh, but for now, I am having a blast with the uh, Lambskin Pink Mini. Now, as far as my last pink handbag, it is this beauty, which is the Chanel Large Deauville, the 30 centimeter. I don't remember the exact uh, color, but I will give you guys uh, the uh, the, serial, the series in just a second. Uh, but I think that this is such a beautiful, beautiful pink. Uh, I love the fact that the lettering here has uh, the metallic threading throughout, so it does end up sparkling when the, sh when the sun hits it. It also has the silver hardware, and I am just so a big fan of the of the Deauvilles. Yes, I like mini bags and yes, I have been getting a little bit carried away with nanos um, as of late, but these guys, look at that. Look at how spacious that is. You can fit everything and the kitchen sink and the fact that it has dual straps makes me so happy um, because you can end up using this on your shoulder. You can hand carry it. Uh, you can put it on the crook of your arm and uh, I will admit these turn into a beautiful mess if you, regardless of what you have in there, I feel like it ends up turning into a beautiful mess. So I did end up opting for an organizer. I think the organizer ends up helping to uh, maintain its shape. It doesn't add any crazy weight to it either, but I love this color. These are the Samorga, uh, but here it is without. But see, when it doesn't have anything, it just kind of starts, <laughs> it starts to fall over. That drives me nuts, drives me nuts. But the organizer, 
Oh yeah, <laughs> it helps. Uh, but the Chanel Deauville, oh, and as far as the series, give me a second. It is the 24 series pink Deauville. Moving on to shoes, the first are the Gucci Princetown loafers in the pink and the light pink. Someone had mentioned that this color has since been discontinued on the Gucci website. However, you can still find them on the Neiman Marcus website. I do believe that they're also available on the Bloomingdale's website if you guys wanted to check them out uh, because I know that there's another color that looks very similar to this, but that one is a little bit more beige, whereas this one has more of that pink, uh, that pink coming through. But uh, these Princetown loafers, you guys know how I feel about them. Hey, Hated them. Hated them in the beginning. Couldn't understand why people were so crazy about them. And now I absolutely love them. I love the sound that they make. You can hear me uh, from a mile away. These are super, super comfortable. And one of the questions that I get most often with the Princeton loafers is if I've had any type of scuffs along the tip. And as you can see, no issues whatsoever. Uh, I also don't end up using any type of sole protectors. Uh, for me, a shoe is a shoe. I don't end up doing anything to it. If it ends up wearing, uh, so be it. But I know some people do end up using the sole protectors and I think that's great if it gives you peace of mind but for me personally that's not something that I choose to do. Uh, I also ended up going for a size 40 and usually with luxury shoes I'm pretty much a 40 across the board and I do wear a 9 in the US uh, but absolutely love these. Just the ease of them just slip your feet in there and and you're good. Uh, but I think these are awesome. I have thought about going for the white ones. I know I've said that in a previous video, uh, but I think the white ones would be awesome. Uh, but love, love, love this uh, this pink. And I also find that these are easy to incorporate into my wardrobe, just like the lambskin mini. I just end up using denim and a white top or a black top or what have you. Or sometimes I like to be a little bit matchy-matchy. Uh, uh, and I end up uh, using this with the pink Deauville but that might be a little bit more on the bubblegum side, like too much going on, but uh, I really like the way that these two look together. So the Princeton loafers. The next three pairs of shoes are the exact same style. They're the Valentino Rockstead Jellies. I did get a little bit carried away when it came to pink. The first is the Water Rose, and uh, this color is a very, very, very pale pink. I absolutely love it. Although sometimes when I take a picture of it, to me it looks like it has a little bit of a, like a gray tint to it, and I have to do a double take. I look at the shoe and I look at the picture, and I'm like, oh, it looks a little, it looks a little gray. Uh, but maybe that's just me but the water rose I also went for a 40 in the Valentino jellies uh, this next color I don't remember the exact name of it but it does have the um, the glitter throughout the little bow uh, I think these are so adorable and uh, out of the pink ones that I have it seems like I end up leaning towards these the most uh, but there we go. I think it's because of the, the color of the glitter and with the rock studs, I think that it really ends up complementing it. Um, it gives it a little bit more of a warmer tone to it. Okay, and then these next ones, I do believe that the color is Dusty Rose, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, or maybe it's Desert Rose. Dusty Rose? Dusty Rose. We'll go with that one. <laughs> uh, but this one has a little bit more of uh, the mauve the mob tone to it. But these Rockstead jellies, uh, when I first got them, I, I used them like crazy. And uh, throughout the years, I've used them like crazy as well. Um, I've started to reincorporate them into my rotation, if you will, because uh, the weather has uh, taken a turn for the worst uh, here in Southern California. It's starting to get a little bit hot, but I'm not complaining because we're in the middle of July and we are just now experiencing the heat. Whereas usually before, it's like, I don't know, March or April and it's like 100 degrees so I can't I can't complain but um, yeah it's time to bust out the flip-flops you know what I'm saying <laughs> uh, all right now for the last uh, of my accessories uh, it's a scarf and a shawl the first is the monogram or the logo mania scarf this is in the color Vu rose if I'm not mistaken uh, it does have that beautiful mauve although it seems to be a little bit more intense and then on the back side you have uh, the darker pink uh, the logo mania scarf uh, I do have two in my collection and this one I don't seem to gravitate towards as much. I honestly thought that um, this would be one that I would end up using nonstop, but I, I think it's because it is such a thick scarf that it ends up being a little, it ends up being a little too intense for, uh, for where I live. But whenever it gets super, super cold, I do bring it out. I just don't bring it out as much as another Logo Mania scarf that I have. Uh, but it does have a little bit of pilling throughout. It's not too bad. Uh, you mostly see it where you have the monogram here. Um, but uh, it's, it's, it has some wear to it. 
it definitely has some wear to it, uh, but it is a little bit, it's a little bit warmer, it's a little bit thicker, and it might be just a tad too much for, uh, for the type of weather that we experience here. And the last accessory is the monogram shawl in the color berry. The color that's showing up on camera, it seems to have a little bit more of a, like an orange tint to it, but it has more of a blue undertone to it. And in my opinion, it has got to be the most intense, the most vibrant fuchsia I have ever seen. I think it is insanely gorgeous. And even though I think it is insanely gorgeous, I can't tell you the last time that I used it. I can't. Uh, and I think it's just because whenever I end up going for the monogram shawl, 99.9% .9 of the time I end up reaching for the denim versus this one. Uh, but I do think that this would be great for a pop of color right along the same lines as the, uh, the Chanel Mini. So if I was to wear a denim with a black or a white top and a black handbag, this would be the pop of color. Uh, but I do think that it's gorgeous. When it comes to the monogram shawls, in my opinion and in my experience, they end up snagging like crazy. My rings always get caught on it. My earrings always get caught on it. And I feel like you can definitely end up seeing uh, the uh, the pilling throughout as well. You might not be able to see it as much on this one, uh, but because of that same pilling and because it ends up getting snagged so easily, uh, I, the, again, I end up going for the denim because I think the denim ends up camouflaging those beauty marks a little bit better. I also think that these are great to use year round because they're not too heavy. They're not as heavy as the Logomania. Uh, you can get away with using these in the spring, in the summer, maybe, maybe it's summer nights. Uh, it might be a little too hot, uh, again, depending upon where you live to use in the summertime, but fall, winter, I think that these are great. But I really should put it into my rotation a little bit more often. Uh, but once again, this is the Louis Vuitton monogram shawl in the color berry. And the very last item of this pink journey is the removable strap for the Clooney BB, uh, the two-tone strap that has burgundy and it has a little bit of pink. Um, yeah, I don't really like this strap. I know a lot of people love this strap and that's great. If you love it, I think that's awesome. I just, I, I don't know. I, I don't know the color. I love the colors separately. I don't like them together. Uh, and there have been times that I've tried to use this strap with other bags or even with the Clooney and uh, no, <laughs> I choose not to. Maybe it'll end up growing on me. Thus far, I've had the Clooney, what, like a year and a half maybe? And uh, I still haven't changed my tune. So <laughs> I don't know what the future holds for this strap. I might end up selling it. I have no idea. But um, yeah, not, not the biggest fan. But the colors, the colors are beautiful by themselves. All right, you guys, that does it for my pink collection. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope I was able to give you a little bit more information on these. If I can remember the names of the ones that I forgot, I will put them on the description box below. But again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.